everyone thank you for joining once again we're talking about god's love and the fact that god's love is so amazing uh, it's a love that embraces us and today we will continue to um, talk about another aspect uh, of this love i'd like to read for us from ephesians chapter 2 verses 12 and 13 uh, and verse 18 as well that at that time you were without christ being aliens from the commonwealth of israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope and without god in the world but now in christ jesus you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of christ and verse 18 for through him we both have access by one spirit to the father so this passage it's talking about uh, the believers who um, when not part of what uh, you know Christ Jesus had done but once Christ Jesus died for us on the cross you know uh, the believers are told that they have now been included in the blessings that were pronounced over Israel you know how marvelous you know, as believers god is calling us into an inheritance he's calling us into every blessing of the cross and this is how god's love is shown to us you know god's love is an accepting love it's a love that accepts us no matter where we have been you know when when we uh, were sinners we were far away from christ but now that we have come into christ jesus each one of us is accepted by god you know many of us we would have gone through circumstances and situations where we felt rejected you know even though we've done our best there could have been a uh, times where some institution has rejected us or you know some individual has rejected us uh, or or you know just this the circumstance itself feels like we have been rejected and that's not an easy um, uh, emotion to come to terms with but we know that the lord jesus when he suffered for us before he was hung on the cross you know he experienced a despisement scriptures say that he was despised in other words he was rejected he felt rejected by the very people that he came to die for and because our lord jesus has been through all of this you know he um, knows what it feels like and he extends to us a love which is an accepting love so in the cross and through what the cross has done for us what we have is an accepting love which says no matter where you and i have experienced rejection you know in god in the presence of god in the love of god we have been accepted you know, we are no longer outcasts you know, god does not push us away you know, god does not uh, keep us at an arms distance but he embraces us as sons and daughters so let us come boldly as hebrews 4 and verse 16 says come boldly into the presence of god you know every moment we enter god's presence let's know that we are greatly accepted by him let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that lord you have uh, extended an accepting love father even today i pray that uh, those of us who are experiencing lord uh, some form of of uh, bondage lord in this area where where we are not able to experience your acceptance that lord we will be able to oh god by the work of your spirit we thank you lord for doing it in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.